the same time? Mm, you go first. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. <laughs> Two cracks are better than one. That's right. Well, <laughs> we stupid. We're gonna start week four out with. Uh, Let's talk about the Carolina Panthers and the Washington Redskins. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you see next you week. week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyhow, I think we talked about joking the- around. <laughs> <laughs> It feels so good when he jokes. It feels so good when he jokes. <laughs> we, uh, we we let off last week and, and spent plenty of time talking about the Browns. We're going to give the Cardinals and Josh Rosen not a whole podcast, just a small segment here. We think the give Cardinals, a love. They Cardinals deserve a little uh, run here. They've been just the laughing stock of the league, dead last in a lot of categories. Not that statistically anything was off the charts this week, but... Looking at the game, it was much better than right. the stats. Rosen show. has rendered Sam Bradford useless. Yeah, that that game's over. He's actually they called him third string now, so right. they he's just collecting paychecks, collecting <laughs> mad paychecks. As he Sam does. Bradford, as just, he does, bravo, sir. He Good for has him. Got bravo. To be so rich. He is filthy rich. Tons so, of injuries, though. Good but. for him. Um, and good for Josh Rosen. Good for the Cardinals. Man comes in here slinging it all over the place. Right. Gives you a nice spark on offense. There's movement. There's a little <laughs> movement. Oh, it moved. <laughs> it's six to midnight, baby. It moved. Casey came in here in the preseason and told us in the offseason said he liked Rosen more than the other quarterbacks. Long term, the best. And it didn't take long for him to get in there and look look really good. If these guys weren't dropping every pass that came their way, mm. sure. his stat line would have been a lot better. But it was just enough of a spark to get the whole team jacked up, which obviously that happens with most any quarterback change. But, you know, the like Jason said, just spin the laugh and just probably statistically the worst start to a offense to a, in the to start a year that you could ever ask for. They didn't even get to like to the opponent's 50 in well, one game. The, the big like right off the rip, obviously with the, the O gets a spark and all that stuff. But I mean, just at the end of the game, Rosen picked up 10 first downs and that's from four first downs and six first downs the previous two weeks with Bradford in there. Right. Like, and it's just, just right there is, yeah. and there was, and again, a couple of big drops. Yeah. Filter in that back, game, filter back in the drops. Which would have bumped up the yardage and the first down. And sustain some more drives to right. give you ability to get even more first downs. So this was, this was interesting. I, th- I, I thought, you know, we saw Baker come in and play his first game and he didn't, Baker certainly didn't play bad, but there were some turnovers in that game for Baker. And, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, Obviously, the the end of the story wasn't as good for Baker in this particular game, um, but you you had Rosen come in here, and we'll see what happens week two. But it was a nice spark for the offense. The offense, uh, what I guess what I was getting at was that it didn't seem like there was quite as much spark on the Cleveland offense this go round as as last go round. But they still scored a ton of points. Well, so I guess I guess there. I guess I mean they scored forty right. something points, and it hey, was stats don't lie. Baker do didn't lose that stats game lie. for him. Baker might try no, to shoulder the sure. load and say, "Hey, we lo- I lost the game." But I mean, the first he got a pick to the house on the first drive. It was a tip ball, you know. And it, right. but it, and but yes, Baker's that that offense moved. They they scored a ton of points, and that that Browns the Browns should have won that game. They were up twenty eight to fourteen right. and started giving the ball away, and then they actually got a first down, and the NFL took it away from them. The refs took it away sure. from them, so they should have won. But yes, we didn't see. You know the the first time when when Baker came into the game, it was like the, the light switch turned on for the whole team. They were getting crushed, and then all of a sudden they weren't getting crushed. They came back and 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 won the game. This week, Rosen, it was it still was a tale of two teams. It, it maybe wasn't quite as dramatic as as the week before when you know uh, Baker comes in and halfway through the game and saves the day, but. I think everything that Rosen did, obviously, it's going to bring in bring. He's peppering all the. He spread the ball around all the different receivers. See Ricky Seals Jones gets involved, brings back David Johnson. He's just doing it all. Yeah, I mean the the most impressive thing to me was the poise that he showed. I think he looked calm and collected out there. He started off a little sporadic. He was missing some guys wide and behind him a little bit. Missed Larry. Um, to start that drive off after David Johnson got him a nice first down on two rushing attempts, which was awesome. Right, um, right. But then he settled down, and he was delivering strikes. And like you guys already mentioned, there was some big plays that really could have boosted his yardage total. J.J. Nelson dropped a big one. Uh, Christian Kirk should have had another one. 
Um, Kirk had a, had a, a touchdown in the end zone that, that he could have had. He, well, he was wide open on one play, and, and Rosen forced it to Chad Williams instead. Didn't see him wide open in the corner. And then there was a play, I think it was before that, earlier in the game, when he actually threw it up to Kirk, and he went up and got the pass interference call. Didn't come down with the ball. David Johnson gets a short rushing touchdown. Yeah. Where that could have been a Josh Rosen touchdown. Um, there was some... <clears throat> There was some penalties they had on first down. They're still doing things that bad teams do. But, that was a rookie's first start. But overall, I mean, Jesus, is, it looked like this offense has some life, which was great to see. Yeah. Uh, it, just looked like, it just looked like there's actual pieces out there. There's players. There's valuable players to be had. Larry Fitz looked like he was getting healthy. Uh, he was healthier than, than it made it sound before the game, I thought, the way he looked anyways. Obviously, the stat line didn't come through for you. Kirk, we're going to talk about him in a little bit. He's coming right along. DJ's the same DJ he's always been. Chad Williams is a big play lurking. So I, I definitely like where this offense is going, and I'd be trying to buy in onto some of these pieces before too long. 